Who here remembers the 2017 Jacksonville Jaguar team? It was a fun team on the field that went all the way to the AFC Championship game. A team that was run by the Jackson 5 secondary of Tashawn Gibson, Barry Church, A.J. Boye, Jalen Ramsey, and Aaron Colvin. And had a furious pass rush led by the likes of Dante Fowler Jr., Yannick Ngakwe, and Calais Campbell. And on the offensive end, they were ran by a powerhouse running back in Leonard Fournette, who can ever forget that team? Who would have thought? Who would have thought in three years? Three years. Every name I just said, off the team. Yep, it got confirmed yesterday that Leonard Fournette is now officially on the trade block for the Jacksonville Jaguars. Now, after his comments that he made on, I believe, first take it was, the ESPN show, I was not that surprised. Because this team seems to be like, they're rolling with Gardner Minshew, and if they're going to bring another quarterback into the fold, it's simply to be a backup. <clears throat> that's why, you know, you see fans clamoring for guys like Cam Newton. And that's the problem with Leonard Fournette, is that he's a professional football player playing for a professional football team and the fact that he went on a tv show and said no offense Minshew but Cam Newton gives us the best chance to win like as a fan as an analysis analysis I don't even know as a person that covers the team like they can say that you know they have every right to say what they want you know critique that kind of thing but when you're on a team that has a starting quarterback and you and you know you've been in front of the media like these players have media training like you need to find a way to answer that question to where it doesn't disrespect your quarterback and I really think you know the front office even Doug Marone said like Leonard Fournette's gonna have to say some apologies to Gardner Minshew to try and mend that relationship because that's just something he shouldn't have said but what does this mean for the Jacksonville Jaguars? You know, it's like, I'm a little upset by it, and I don't think Leonard Fournette's going to want to play for this team, you know, after hearing that he's on the trade block now and getting that report. You know, he's not going to be one of those guys that just comes back after hearing all that and being like, hoorah, like, this is my team still. I'm still going to play the same way I would before. Not sponsored by Baja Blast, but Baja Blast Mountain Dew. Want to sponsor me? Hit your boy up. Triven P, T R E V A N P at gmail.com. But Leonard Fournette, <clears throat> 1,600 yards from scrimmage last year. And that is huge. You know, there were some games where it took, you know, one big run to kind of skyrocket his numbers, you know, to be really high, to have like 100 yards rushing. Um, my boy John Shipley actually posted the other day in his 36 career games, he's only had eight games of over 100 yards rushing. And I still think, like, this is a guy that is kind of a staple of your offense. I think the wide receivers, uh, especially if they, you know, they draft one in the draft, I think this is a deep wide receiver room, you know, especially if the draft, you know, plays out well and maybe they can make a trade for a big name like Odell. I know not a lot of people are fans of that idea, but I kind of am. So, like, if... If they're going to bring in one more big-name wide receiver, they draft a guy. I really have a lot of faith in these receivers, and I have a lot of faith in Gardner Minshew as well. But Leonard Fournette was a good to great like security blanket for Gardner Minshew. It was like, <clears throat> you don't have to throw on every down. You know, you don't have to chuck it deep every play. You know, especially like with how he developed not only in the run-blocking game, but also in the receiving game was leaps and bounds from, you know, previous seasons for Fournette. He's improved, he's put in the work, and the Jags aren't rewarding him for that. You know, the Jags aren't showing their appreci their appreciation for what Leonard Fournette did his previous offseason to really be kind of the face of the franchise. And that's kind of what he is. You know, he is the face of the Jacksonville Jaguars at this point. Because as of now... This is like, you know, you trade Calais Campbell away. You're going to trade Leonard away. Yan's gone. Jalen's gone. Like, who would you consider the face of this franchise? It would be Leonard Fournette. <clears throat> and this is going to be the third or fourth face of the franchise that this team's going to trade away 
in the last year in some odd months. Traded away Jalen. Traded away Calais. Now they're going to trade away Leonard Fournette. And this is a guy that the offense runs through. It's ran through him since they drafted him. And now he's gone. You know, it's just... I don't think the Jags on paper next season, even with, without Leonard Fournette, is going to be that bad of a football team. You know, not as bad as some people think. I don't think they're the worst team in the league bad next year. But, like, they don't really have an identity. And unless Gardner Minshew can grab this team, you know, right by the balls and say, hey, this is my team, I'm going to lead it, let me be the face of this franchise, which, you know, he has the ability to do that. But unless he does that, like, I don't really know who you would consider on this team to be the face of the franchise. You know, I think another guy like Joe Schobert, if he has two, three good years, you know, at the middle linebacker position like he did for Cleveland, I think that's a guy in a couple of years that could take that face of the franchise spot. But as of right now, there really isn't a guy that you would look at in the face and say that's the face of the Jacksonville Jaguars. Just nobody. DJ Chark? I wouldn't even say that about Chark. Like, Chark is such an underrated name that not a lot of people, you know, casual fans will even think of. And, I mean, not a lot of casual fans pay attention to the Jacksonville Jaguars, but that's just facts. And, you know, as of now, DJ Chark's probably the guy. And that's crazy. Like, go back to 2017. <laughs> and you got a guy named DJ Chark. That's the face of your franchise. Your boy's a little sick, so I have to, like, take drinks in between takes so I don't cough up a lung and know it's not corona. So don't worry about that. Um, what can the Jags get out of Leonard Fournette? Not a lot. <laughs> not a lot. He's going to go somewhere for dirt cheap. He's literally going to go somewhere for, like, a fourth-round pick. I really, and that's sad. I would like to see us use Leonard in a blockbuster trade. Kind of like how I'd like to see Yan used in that. Um, but the only blockbuster trade I can see is like us trading Leonard to Cleveland. And I don't think that's going to happen. If there's going to be a blockbuster trade to Cleveland, I think it's Yannick and Gawkwe. And then, you know, they got Miles, ja Miles Garrett and Yannick and Gawkwe over there. And we get Odell. And probably no picks. We probably have to include some picks with Yan to get Odell. But, I mean, I don't know. You know, Leonard, I think, at most goes for a fourth-round pick. There's just not enough, there's not enough there for him to be, you know, a bona fide, like, need a first-round pick for this guy. Like, there's just there's not a lot you're going to get out of him. It's almost as ridiculous as putting, like, a second-round tender on Keelan Cole. Like, that ridiculous. But, you know, the future will tell. The draft is in a couple of days, and I guess we will see come draft day... Uh, what the Jaguars decide to do with Leonard Fournette, and I guess with the Anakin Gawkway as well. Um, thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you haven't already, make sure you hit that subscribe button, click the bell icon so you get notified every single time I drop a new video. Tomorrow we're going to have two new videos out. Uh, one's going to be a seven-round mock draft for the Jacksonville Jaguars. Another video is going to be about me telling you what kind of perks you get when you join Troops Tribe. Thank you guys so much for watching this video, and as always, you guys have a great rest of your day.